Welcome. The purpose of this video is to explain the kidney transplant evaluation process. Your kidney transplant evaluation is a four-step process. First, you will meet your transplant nephrologist, a doctor who specializes in advanced kidney disease for a transplant consultation. Second, you will complete medical testing. This may include cardiac testing, imaging, lab work, and other tests that may be needed. Next, your case will be presented to the Kidney Transplant Multidisciplinary Selection Committee to review your medical condition and if you are a good candidate for a transplant. Finally, you will be listed for kidney transplant if you are an appropriate candidate. Your nurse coordinator will be your contact person throughout the evaluation. At your transplant consultation, you will meet your transplant nephrologist. Your caregiver should also be present. Here, you will discuss your medical history, learn about the transplant process, and receive a recommendation for next steps in the process. The next part of the evaluation is medical testing to evaluate your overall health. Medical testing may include, but is not limited to, x-rays and CT scans, cardiac testing, blood tests for kidney, liver, infections, and blood type, tests for physical endurance, and other tests for overall health. You will work with your coordinator to schedule testing. If you have recently completed these tests, please inform your coordinator. Delays in workup will result in delays in getting listed. You should also provide documentation that you are up to date on other health maintenance, including dental evaluation and vaccines like pneumonia, flu, COVID-19, or hepatitis, and cancer screenings like colonoscopy. For women, pap smears and mammograms. Once your evaluation is completed, the transplant team will discuss your case at our committee meeting to determine transplant recommendations. Based on your risks versus benefits of transplant, you will either be one, approved for transplant listing, two, declined for transplant listing, or three, on hold for additional information. Your coordinator or doctor will call you after the meeting to discuss the recommendation. There are many reasons to be on hold, such as additional testing or treatments. Please provide documentation to your coordinator about progress or completion of these steps. If the team decides transplant is not the best option for you, you should continue care with your kidney doctor. You can have a second opinion at another transplant center. If you are approved, you will be added to the waitlist and your coordinator will inform you of the next steps. If you have any questions, reach out your transplant team is here to support you.